We're gonna see a situation now, my opponent is gonna put me on the deep half guard, okay? This situation that you have to, to be very patient, okay? Because any mistake, the guy can be on your back, you know, can sweep you easily, put you out of bounds. Uh, it's very like a difficult and annoying position if you don't know how to react and how to put yourself in good balance, okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you like a few uh, ways, okay, to put yourself, how you have to balance, where you have to put your hands, okay. Uh, recently, I have been fighting some guys that like to apply the deep half guard, and you know, I feel comfortable, you know, because I know the way that you know I need to, you know, to position myself, where my hand have to be, what he wants to do it. You have to understand the game for you to be able to neutralize your opponents. Okay, so you have to be a, a one step ahead of, of him, okay? So this is like, when my opponent starts putting on the deep half guard, okay? So first of all, you have to prevent that, right? You have to prevent the guy get underneath you. But in case that the guy does, he's gonna go over here, all right? It's really important that my back foot over here, my toes gonna be on the mat, you know, plus I'm gonna start, you know, controlling first, he stop me over here. In case that the guy is going to start put the hook it like that, you cannot allow that. You have to start pushing his leg away and take the foot out because that hook can be a problem. Okay, he can elevate you to start going to your back. He can elevate you, you know, to start switch some grips. Okay, uh, just make sure that you're going to stay here. Okay, and your inside knee, sometimes you have to bend your knee, sometimes you have to put your, you know, your leg straight, sometimes you bend it. You have to, you know, find a good balance, okay? So in this case, let's say when the, the guy start hiding this arm over here to try to grab my lapel, okay? When he start hiding this arm, is the, is the time that I wanna start switch my side, okay? So I'm gonna start like, you know, start like, uh, the guy's gonna start, you know, put the arm inside. Put your arm underneath my leg, exactly, to try to feed over here. Now is the time that I'm gonna start going this side. Be, a lot of times he's gonna try to use his head to block my hips, okay? So, but when I start turning my hips like that, look at on the side, I'm gonna put him flat on the mat. And then I just like start sliding my knee and sit on him, okay? It's important that look my, my base, how it is. I'm not switch the side and start put my butt on the mat. This so you can give more chance to him to start going to your back and do other things as well. So when I switch the side, I'm gonna be here and, and control the guy's knee, toes on the mat, okay? Now with my right hand, look here, with my right hand, okay, the guy's gonna try to, you know, try to go and try to grab the lapel, try to do other things. My thumb is gonna come inside the collar, okay? And then, I, and then I'm gonna be here, look at that. Hold the collar, okay? Sit on his shoulder, hold the knee still, okay? Now I'm gonna start, you know, point my knee and go to the side that I was before. At this point, I'm gonna base my hand on the mat, okay? That was like the same position that I used a few years ago at the World Championship, okay? It was. You know, able to do that with a, a opponent that like to apply the deep half guard, okay? So, and then I start open my elbow, okay? Hold like very close to the shoulder and apply the knee cut pass. So, basically I'm gonna start from one side, he's gonna go to the uh, deep half guard, take my time, looking for like my, you know, a good balance, blocking the guy's leg, okay? Using my hips, to push his head down because a lot of times he's gonna use the other hand to hold my, my pants and keep the guy and keep his head up to prevent me to switch side. Okay, but with your hips you can do that. Okay, notice that I'm not like you know put my hips straight. I turn my hips to the side. Okay, so deep half bird. Okay, I'm gonna push the guy's leg down. Okay. I stay here, he's gonna try to block me over here. And another way that I do as well, like, you know, to be able to go to the other side using my forearm over here, look at that. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna put my hand on the mat that I can be able to start passing my knee over. Okay, that's another way to use my forearm, very gentle over here, and push down. Okay, now I'm gonna lean myself forward and pass my leg over. But most of the time, using just your hips on the side, like look how I'm gonna sprawl in this knee. Works perfectly. Now I can slide it and switch side. Okay, toes on the mat. Do not put your butt on the mat. Switch your hands. And then now from here, I'm gonna start looking for the collar. Thumb inside the collar, grab it, and then it stays here. Base it, okay. So now I'm gonna come back on the other side. Tripod, open my elbow. In case that I have any chance to hold the shoulder, hold the shoulder and then I can go. Or I can just base my hand on the mat too. Okay, notice that this hand on the collar, deep as possible. Really important, not to lose. Okay, keep my wrist stiff, and then I just, you know, open and pass the guard. 